Hey there, Tarek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this underwater text effect. I also have another version of it that I'm going to post to my Instagram, hence the taller aspect ratio. So follow me on Instagram if you want to see future effects and things like that. But anyways, on with the tutorial. First step, uh, you have your footage in a comp and what you're going to want to do is create a new text layer. Let's just write water and we'll scale this up over here. Maybe around, that's a bit much. That should be fine. And what you're going to want to do is duplicate your footage layer, rename it displacement map just so we can keep track and then put it on top of your text layer. Now select your text layer, the one that I called water, and then go to effects and presets and type in displacement map. And you're going to find an effect called displacement map and double click on it and it'll add it to the water layer, the water text layer. And now what you're going to want to do is in the displacement map layer section, you're going to want to select the footage layer that we duplicated and called displacement map. And then turn off the displacement map layer. And as you can see, it's already adding the effect of the waves affecting the text. Now currently what it's doing is for the horizontal displacement, for the horizontal displacement, it's using the red channel and for the vertical displacement, it's using the green channel. We're going to want to switch both of those to luminance just because I think it makes more sense for it to use the brightness of the waves to determine the height. But if you have a personal preference, then you can use one of the color channels. Um, so to exaggerate the effect, we're going to need to turn up these values. Um, I think around 20 for horizontal is reasonable. Actually, that might be a bit much. So let's tone it down. And then for the vertical displacement, the vertical displacement is what really gives it that effect of being underwater, since you can see that it's diverging on multiple different portions of the water. But if you overdo it, then it's kind of hard to read. So like maybe somewhere around like 25. That's pretty decent. And then what I did to style the text was I added a tint effect and then I made it this slightly pinkish red, like a hot pink. And then I switched the transfer mode of the text layer to overlay. Um, you can also select soft light, which is the next one down from overlay for a more subtle effect, but I think overlay looks better since it's more pronounced. And that's the basics of the effect. But if you look closely, what you can see is there are some harsh edges here. These can be mitigated if you use a higher resolution um, and then downscale the footage. Um, but I shot this with a Canon T5, um, which is only 1080p. So the best thing that you can do to eliminate that or at least reduce it is type in Gaussian blur and then add that to your text layer and maybe raise the value to like two. And as you can see, if I go back and forth, it makes quite a bit of a difference when it comes to softening the edges. Um, and it looks more natural, but at the same time, it also makes it look a bit softer. Like if I made it five, it would be a bit too much, but it also makes it blend better. So depending on your situation and also how sharp your footage is, you're gonna wanna play around with this value and see what works best for you. I'll just stick with three for now. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, it's just a displacement map of the same layer using the luminance values of the water and then I added a tint and a blur to the text to help it blend a little bit more and that's it. So if this tutorial was helpful for you, please do consider subscribing. Um, give this video a thumbs up and have a great day.